<laughs> Welcome back, my lovelies, to this wicked scary weekend. Game number two, Alone in the Dark. I am that role-playing ginger, and I have never played Alone in the Dark. So I am very interested. I've had this on uh, my, my GOG, or GOG, account for a long time, but I've never got around to playing it. Um, it's an old DOS game, and I've, I have no experience playing DOS games. At least not that I can remember. And so I have no idea what to expect from this. Uh, this thing, let's see, it came out in 1992, so it's three years after Splatterhouse. So I don't know what the range of motion is going to be on it, but I don't, I'm not able to use my mouse as far as I've been able to tell. We are going to... I know it showed a cutscene, so I'm going to give it a little time. We're going to see a cutscene, hopefully. And hopefully it won't be a cutscene that's repeated. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go to be new ga begin new game. Ooh, are we going to choose who we want to be? Are we going to be that guy with a moustache who's in the dark? Or are we going to be this girl without a moustache who's in the dark? You know what? We're going to be her. The attorney's, the attorney's letter came as a deep oh. shock to me. My Uncle Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. Interesting. I was not expecting actual dialogue. Alright, so this is the cutscene I thought it was going to show. Oh my god, the pixel driving in the background! That's the spookiest thing. Oh, this is old-fashioned. Got ourselves an Oldsmobile right there with like two little uh, life pieces inside of it. Whoa! And here, I thought this wasn't going to be a scary game. That frog damn near made me shit myself. Hmm. Model's not bad for ninety for ninety two. Oh, I thought that was somebody screaming. Oh, creepy hands. There's creepy hands! And they just dipped! They took off! Come back! Oh my god, I gotta do, I gotta do something about the volume. Alright, I'm pretty sure I, fin I fixed my volume. You might have been hearing some bring bring. That was me adjusting my volume because it was blasting in my ear, even at 20%. Alright. I don't know when I go into game mode, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about DOS games, y'all. This is my first ex experience with a DOS game, which is probably the scariest of all things. I'd watch out for that sword right there. I'd grab that sword. Whoa! Her face! Oh my god! <laughs> It's like if Scully from X-Files was getting glitched out of the Matrix. That's awesome. Uh, your floor's a little off, so I'd be careful because you're probably going to fall. Unless that's blood. Nope, not blood. Why is she staring dead at the camera? Uh, we got, looks like a bow. A broken window. Am I supposed to be doing anything right now, or am I just supposed to let her finish her travels? Okay, okay. Ah, sweet! So I can turn her around. Oh, it's tank controls. Can't use WASD though, I have to use the arrow keys. Whoa. And enter, it pulls up a menu, I think, or actions at least. Um. Nope. Open search. I wanna get, I wanna get the lantern. You found an oil lamp! Take it! Sweet. Oh, uh, no! Okay, good. Uh, an oil lamp. Use! Lamp has oil. Does it have a specific amount of oil, though? Oh, man. I'm gonna turn it off now. I don't wanna... No, I wanna put it away. No! I want it. I want it! Oh, okay, good. Give me that lamp. Alright, let's go. Let's keep moving. We're on a trip. 
We are alone, but it's not dark yet, so I'm feeling okay. Oh god. Tank controls on a computer. I can do tank controls on like a PlayStation 1 controller perfectly fine. I became a master at Resident Evils 1, 2, and 3. Um. Oh! What the heck is that? What is that? It's gonna eat me. I'm dead. Uh. Uh. Um, actions, fight. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Let me pull out the lamp. Um, I'm so dead. Yep. I, don't, I, I literally can't do anything. I'm stuck in this goddamn corner. This creepy little, like, dog monster won't leave me alone! It, it's pinned me in the corner. I can't get out. When do I die? You feel weak. Oh, cool. I wonder why. I'm dead. I think it done killed me. I got killed by this little blocky ass Langolier. What the hell? What? This is a post death scene. <laughs> Look at her arms. She's like, woo! Let's go! The end. I got put on a pedestal. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. We'll do the guy this time. Let's see. On my door, a dull brass plate says private detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The others call me the reptile. I don't care to think what my banker calls me. <laughs> These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. They ruin my day. <laughs> can I skip this? Okay, it looks like I can. Alright, I need to find something to fight that dog. I don't know if it was me just wasting too much time. I'm gonna go to the treasure chest, though. I don't know if I have to be like... Well, that's creepy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Open search, please. Sir? Uh, open search. I would like you to open search, please. Fight the box. It is not letting me open search this treasure chest. Maybe it's got a key. I don't know. All I know is I'm about to get killed by another dog! It's over here. Or maybe I can hide? No. I can't. Oh my god. I'm not used to this at all. Look at my jolly mustache! I look like a Wind Waker character! I wanna open this chest. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Check out this piano. Maybe I can soothe it with the power of music! Oh, it's stuck! Oh, it's not stuck. I don't understand. It doesn't let me do anything. Look at his kooky, look at his kooky eyes! Oh, he's so cute! Fight him! Fight him! It's only doing one hit, one damage to me. Push him! Is this the whole game? Alright, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta... Oh, I can do a save game, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to quit. And hopefully it doesn't close the game. Okay, begin a new game. I'm gonna play the same again. And then I'm going to, as quickly as I can, Save game. Um, uh, here. Where it all begins. Alright. So, 
I don't know why I can't do nothing. Do 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 do. Maybe I gotta push this treasure chest on top of that thing, the the latch. Cause maybe something crawls out of there, and maybe there's something underneath the treasure chest. I mean, that's what I was thinking, but I guess not. Open search. Like, I don't understand. Push. Nope. Where are the stairs that I came up from? Because I know there was like a bow and arrow down there. I passed it on my way up here. That's just a rug. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a door over there. Wait a minute. Maybe I can push this to the window. This looks like a almost a, a wardrobe kind of thing. Push. It isn't letting me push. Ha! You cannot get me! I am on this side, and you are on that side! Alright, so this obviously isn't the right way to go, so we're gonna load here where it all began. Search rocking horse. Okay, so that does immediately do something, so now I know that if I can search something and it does happen... Nothing's happening, so the door won't open for some reason. I've managed to get myself trapped in this room. Alright, I found a walkthrough. I'm gonna try and see if this works. It says, push the wardrobe closet in front of the window. Oh, I could... I could just walk into things and it pushes them? Really? I was pushing that stool around without even doing anything. So maybe I just gotta move? Push. No. No. They ain't letting me do nothing. Alright, apparently, first and foremost, you can run by doing this. You double double hit the arrow key forward to run. And look at my jolly little run! And then once you go here, you gotta select the action, push, and then you hold down the space bar, and that lets you do the action. Okay, alright, alright. So now we got that blocked off, hopefully. And now I need to push this over this. Aha! I'm starting to do it. I just needed to know how to actually like do the control. Sweet. Alright, next thing we need to do is open our search. I gotta open it from this side, probably. Woo! Oh, I got a gun! Alright, open the wardrobe, it says to do next. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I already got actions open. Get old Indian cover. Huh? Did I take it? Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't break... Oh, God. I messed up. I done messed it up. Wait. Oh. Okay, well, it didn't come in, and then I guess something's trying to come up from there. I need to run. There we go. Take the lamp. Sweet! I think I did everything in this room. Oh, something's unhappy with me. Alright, now I think we can leave. We got actions, open search. Oh, he's trying, he's trying real hard. Oh, wait. Oh my god, it wasn't even a door there. It wasn't even a door. Go ahead and save the game. Um, um, finally, I can play. I can. Oh, finally, I can play. It's gonna say, I can win. There's the bow that I was talking about. Do I have to actually click on it, or can I just? I can just walk on it. I right, got a bow. Um, 
going to search. Oil can! Perfect! What is this, though? I want to use this thing. The game's not telling me to use this thing. It says to exit. It says to exit the room, go into the upstairs hallway, walk to the first door, and enter. Where's the stair? Where's the other staircase? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm a su oh god, I'm a super die. I'm a jolly fellow! Alright, walk to the first door on the right and enter. Oh god, the controls. Pull this right? Uh, search the top roll desk. <laughs> Look at his little... Whoa! Search the desk. Found a key. Very nice. I'm starting to get the hang of how this game's supposed to work. Do I search this? Nothing important. Well, that's that's your opinion. It's locked. Oh, I got the key! Use the key. Oh, oh, we got a sword, we got a gun, we're all, all armed up. Um, what are we going to use? Open the... Uh-oh. Alright, I guess I'm going to... I'm going to make sure that I got, uh... Because apparently we're going to open this door. There's going to be a zombie! Um, 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 I'll use, I don't know if I have bullets or I don't have arrows. I am going to use the sword! Oh god. No, I want to use the sword! Oh, do I just have to... You jerk. I'm holding down the space. I'm holding down the space! What the what 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 use fight damn you there we go Jesus oh, I have to I have to hold forward and swing <laughs> look how goofy this is whoa. my health at 11. Oh god, that's not good. Alright, now I went and reset so I can have actual durability for this thing. Ooh, I can do all sorts of different combat actions. I can do all sorts of different combat actions. It says the sword's gonna break after a limited use. I hope it's not too limited, though. Look at this. Poof! Then he exploded. Uh, walk into the room. And the door directly across the hall. Alright. Going across the hall, and it says there's gonna be a zombie in here, and it wants me to shoot the zombie. Fight or shoot the zombie. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I don't know how I don't know how, let's see. Oh, I can't check on this durability. So I'm going to go ahead and get a rifle. It's got four shots. Says there's gonna be a zombie. I'll see the zombie. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, you jerk. I can't. How do I? How do I? You cannot pass! You shall not pass! Oh, crap. Okay, well, sword's broken. That's fine, it broke earlier than it did last time, I don't know why. Um, 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 but I'm gonna get my rifle out because now I know how to use the thing. I'm gonna go into here. And then I'm going to... Wait for a zombie to show up. Because we gotta press up. Once we're like this, we gotta press up to fire the gun. Oh, we can aim. I'm hunting zombies! <laughs> There's the bastard. There's a shotgun. Does that have to be close? Or can I just... Boom! Whoa! Okay, two shots. Two shots from a shotgun will do it. Alright. Gonna have to go through here. Oh, wait. I need to make sure I save. Save, dummy! There we go. Apparently there's a door somewhere. 
Exit the room through a door near the window. It's the window. Please run. There we go. I'm trying to open things, but it says there's a door near the window. There's no door near this window. There's no door! Can I open this? Nothing important, says you. Where's the door? Oh my god, I just wasn't in the right spot. Um, in this place there's going to be a monster that comes through the window. So I need to um, um, get my rifle out. It's gonna come through the window, so this is gonna be scary. I found a vase. Wait for it. I hear the music! Whoa, the perspective shifted on me! Yo, this game's scary as hell. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Yeah! Poofled! Nice. Okay, but now I don't have any... Now I don't have, uh... Any weapons. Nothing important, of course. So creepy. It's gonna be, I'm coming to get you very slowly. You cannot get away from me. I will search you. I will find what I'm. Teddy Bear! You're coming with me. It's locked, but I want the teddy bear! Alright, so I need to throw the vase, apparently. So we're going to. Throw. Kill! And inside is a broken vase. Okay. I guess. Um. No, I don't want the face. I want the key. There's a key on the ground. I can see it. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'll take the broken vase. I guess. We will use. Nope. We will use the. We will use the key. Open this and find a small mirror. Nice. All right, um, save game. Woo, safe, but no weapon. All right, perfect. Um, next thing next is walk into the next room and directly into the hall. Wait, two small mirrors? I thought there was only one. I have two small mirrors. Uh, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna go throw here and it says to go up directly across the hallway. Yeah, you know how the intro cutscene with the girl? It showed that, and I was like, that's a trap door. Apparently it is a trap door. I was right. My instincts were correct. Alright, we are in here. We need to go to the cabinet. Ooh, first aid kit. Very nice. We are going to open it to find a flask. And I can drink the flask to gain more hit points. You feel better. Now I'm at 30. Very nice. Um, then we need to throw or drop the unnecessary items. So we need to get rid of the first aid kit. Eh. Well, I didn't throw that very far. I'm a weak person. Uh, the empty flask. And the broken vase. No, it doesn't say to throw the un throw the broken vase. Maybe it doesn't, doesn't want me to get it again. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Um, what else do we not need? Um, we don't need the chest key. We don't need the dresser key. And what do we do with the oil can? What do we do with the oil can? Do we put it in the, in the, in the thing with the lamp? Is that what we do? Okay, 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 okay. The lamp is full. Awesome. Oh, I could just—I don't have to keep exiting it. So now it's an empty oil can. I can drop it. Awesome. All right, now we need to exit the room near. Oh no, leave. Exit the room near the window. Oh, wait, no, I'm in the wrong spot again. 
Uh, bathroom. Exit the room and go to the door at the end of the hall. Uh, I'm gonna have to go around all my items. I don't want it. 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 Thank you. All right, now we can go this way. And this will take us to another place. Oh, there's a demon right there. Avoid any contact with the winged monster. Oh god, that's the first note. All right, we gotta put a. We gotta put a mirror on each one of these. There's no room. It's because I wanna. I wanna. I wanna put the mirror on the thing. Oh god. Oh god, did you guys just do your thing? I'm going to, uh. I'm gonna do this, and hopefully you guys won't. Good. All right. All right, we're doing what we're doing. We're doing right. We have this nice. Oh, it died too. Oh, that was kind of a sad thing. That was kind of a, a very sad sound. I don't like that. I'm sorry, little winged demon. You look like a Digimon. I don't. I don't want you dead. All right, go downstairs. Do n the first note. Do not touch the suit of armor. Oh. <laughs> you too, good sir. Um, when you get a very heavy statuette, stand in front of the armor and destroy it. Where's the very heavy statuette? It just says, when you get this item, and it's like, cool. When do- oh god. When do I get this item? Oh, the statuette is in room 13. I don't know what room 13 is. Alright. Go back up here. I don't think we were supposed to come downstairs yet. Walk to the door on the right of the stair. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's where. Do not touch the statue. It says, do not. It will murder my face, probably. I want that sword. All right, go through this door, it says. This should be a sitting room. Do not touch the ghost figure in the chair. There's a, there's a ghost figure in the chair. I look away from it. Uh, get the gramophone. Very nice. Uh, search the cabinets to get the cartridges for my rifle. Hell yeah. Oh, there's something on top of that, too. Actions. Search. Box of cartridges. Hell yeah. Use the cartridges to reload. Rifle's reloaded with how many to... Hey. Mm. I feel like, I feel like a boss. Alright. Uh, use the cartridges to reload the rifle. Get the matchbox. Not gonna lie, if I were a kid and like at my school, I would like the matches. Those are the matches, right? I have to go this way. There we go. I got a poker. Should I get the poker? As I mentioned, getting a poker. I'm gonna leave the poker. I'm gonna get the matchbox. I'm gonna get. I kind of want to get the poker. But if I do, is, it, is bad things gonna happen? Let's see. Poker. I hardly know her. Take. I mean, it's, it's another weapon. Hopefully it doesn't screw me out in the end. Oh, oh! I just saw the ghost. Oh, crap. Oh my god, I shouldn't have taken the poker. I should not have taken the poker. All right, load. Poker, I hardly know her. I ain't taking that poker. All right, maybe maybe I was just too close to the ghost. Because now I see its eyes, and I see the figure. So maybe, maybe... I'll, I'll leave the poker, because the walkthrough does not say to take the poker. All right, we're going to go down the hallway. Just follow the hall around and enter the second door you come to. Follow it which way, though? The first door directly across the door you entered. What? What? Follow the hall around. So I'm assuming that means this way. And enter the second door you come to. It's supposed to be a bathroom. Is it a bathroom?
bathroom. Not a bathroom. So maybe go back upstairs and to the left, hopefully. Nope, took me back the way I came. Running is not easy. I press the double I double tap the key and like half the time it doesn't work. Like look at it, it's not I'm not running. There we go, finally. Is this the bathroom? Says there's a jug next to the cabinet. Open the cabinet, get a first aid kit, open the kit to get the flask, drink the flask, get more health, and exit the room because there's a monster that can't be killed in here. Nope. I'm so lost. It said, follow the hall around and enter the second door you come through. Is it this one? What the fuck is that? Oh, I found it. Okay. Um. Oh my god, it's a big jellyfish squiddy thing. I can't. I need to get the jug. Thank you. Sir. Alright, I said run into there, get the jug, don't do anything with the monster because you can't kill it anyway. Take the flask. Flask, drink it for more health. Exit the room, continue the hall down to the next door. <sighs> I feel better. I'm at 40. Nice. Hopefully that thing can't come out of the bathroom. Well, this is the next door, right? This room is in the dark. It is a dark bedroom. Uh, we will use the matchbox to light the lamp. Awesome. What is this thing? Heavy. Oh, the very heavy statuette. Ooh. Uh, exit the room and open search to put the lamp away. Uh, go back to the tower lobby and book. Do I want to? Do I want the book? Do Do I want the book? I'll take the book. I don't like the music. All right. Um. I'll put the lamp away. Right. Be good. You just stay in your bathtub, little jelly man. I'm in the wrong room. I don't think I was supposed to come here. Can't run right. Where do I go? I thought I was like this way. Oh, it is this way. There it is. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, so we need to go over here and we need to. Uh, exit the room, open search, go back to the lower lobby, and destroy the suit of armor. So, throw it. <laughs> oh, I am so weak. <laughs> yeah! I found a sword. Hell yeah. And I got the heavy statuette. Oh, it says leave the statuette here. Drop Awesome. And then it says walk to either side of the stairs and enter a dark opening. No, leave. Okay. The dark opening this spot? This will take me downstairs, right? I don't understand. I don't understand! There's so many things to do. So many chances. So little time. If I had a map of this place, that'd be very helpful, and I imagine there is one somewhere online. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Now that I know how to play, it's very interesting. I've never again, I've never played a DOS game before. And Alone in the Dark is a long-running franchise that actually has a new game either coming out or is already out. Let me double check that real quick. Uh Alone in the Dark. Cause I know it was supposed to come out originally at the beginning of this year, I think. Let's see. In the dark. Yeah, uh, up, the announcement was uploaded last August, August 2022. Oh, is it already out? Oh, wait, it says upcoming. It's gonna be 2024. Okay, I'll have to give that one a check out because I, I like uh, I like the uh, I like 
that they're doing a lot of modern horror remakes. Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space were both fantastic. I'm hoping this will be like... Because I know Alone in the Dark eventually like started getting more... Well, I might be thinking about the movie where it gets a little action-y. Whereas this is very much more classic like Resident Evil survival horror kind of thing. And I dig it. I love stuff like this. So I don't know, I don't know what the new game is going to be like. But I, I'll, I'll check that one out definitely when it comes out. But thank you all for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying these wicked scary weekend videos. And I will see you guys next weekend when we begin on Friday. Friday the 13th. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>